ha comprado, ha decidido comprar OpenCube en el año pasado, en abril, por realmente su expertiza en el formato y en el control del MXF, que es un punto clave en un entorno tipless como EWS maneja hoy en día, con sus servidores y sus herramientas, y también con su buen conocimiento de un nuevo tipo de servidor uh, basado sobre uh, un mundo un poco más IT, y con todo el control y el manejo del formato MXF. The MXF file format is a standard and this is also a, a wrapper. So the goal is to wrap inside the same file format audio and video to ensure that the video and the audio will be wrapped together into the same file format. The other goal is to put inside also some metadata to describe the audio and the video and to ensure that we have all the information for a system A to a system B to be compatible together, okay? So the goal of the MXF is to, uh, to, to, put, to have um, um, some, some vehicle to put all the information inside and then when you receive an MXF file, you can open the file, read the metadata, read the audio format, the video format, the timecode format, and you have all the information to handle this MXF file format in the best way you can. So today in the, in the new workflow, in new high definition workflow, everything is tapeless. So there is no tape, there is no device, there is no support. Everything is based on a file. So this file will be used at the, cap at the, at the captation, at the capture, at the edition, at the fabrication, and then for the, for the diffusion, for the playout, okay? So if you define the right MXF file, you will master all the audio and the video format during all the life cycle of your video and your audio. And then you will ensure that every system will be compatible together using the right MXF. For any TV channel or post-production, this is a freedom to mix different systems together because if you have the right MXF file, you can buy your camcorders to, to a company, you can buy your editing to another company, you can buy your playout to a third company, and then the MXF will, be, will ensure the compatibility between all the systems on the workflow. MXF, uh, as I explained, is a wrapper, so it puts some shell around the audio and the video for, for the video synchronization with the audio, but you don't get rid of having many codec, many file format for the compression. So you will have some camera camcorders using some compression scheme and other using other compression schemes. So you don't get rid of transcoding, moving, transforming your media on your workflow. M most of the time the, the, the video will be okay. I mean the, the frame, the, the image to be displayed will be okay because uh, the frame is the, the most important. But uh, um, we are working in audiovisual market. So in audiovisual you have visual but you have also, you have also audio. And most of the time, the problems comes from audio. The audio is not fully described, is not fully wrapped in the, in the right way, specifically with audio compression scheme like Dolby E. The Dolby E need to be uh, correctly wrapped into the MXF to be uh, managed uh, among the workflow, along the workflow. Uh, other issue can be the time code management, the time you have on each frame to synchronize the audio and the video. Another problem can be the subtitles or the, the, the cross-caption. I mean, for, for people, uh, if you want to, to, to subtitle your, your program, it, it needs to be correctly described into your, into your MXF file format. The best way is to follow the standard and work with a company like EVS OpenCube that master the MXF file format and that propose the right tools, the accurate tools to, to manage the MXF file to ensure the wrapping and we have specifically a tool called XF Converter, enabling to detect the, 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 the metadata into the MXF and we wrap it into the right file format. Uh, uh, for, for instance, RT and MTV at the beginning decide to, to choose uh, a system that will, that will ensure the MXF file format generation at the beginning of the, of the workflow. So they define the scheme of the MXF they want to use, they want to playback on their uh, on-air server. They make some kind of specification. We did some tests and we defined the scheme of the right MXF they want to use on their workflow, ready to play out, ready to edit. 
and then we have proposed them the right video server to ingest the tape and generate the right MXF file on a central storage. So they can rely on a MXF structure to, to, uh, to leverage this MXF to use on their workflow.